¿Sí? Un saludo especial para la gente hermosa de Canadá. Muchas gracias. Desde Cali, Colombia. Allá está haciendo frío, aquí no. A toda la gente beautiful de Canadá. You people, I love you forever. Hey, from Colombia. Hey, bye bye. Empanadas, damas y caballeros, ¿cómo estás? Y bienvenido a San Vicente de Chucurí. In case you don't know what this big thing is in behind me, this is a cacao. Cacao is not for making cocaine, cacao is for making chocolate. Well, you probably already knew that, right? Anyhow, let's have a closer look. This is what it looks like inside. And the actual fruit is actually quite tasty. And this region, San Vicente de Chucuri is actually famous, some say throughout the world, for chocolate and cacao. I tried some last year, I'm not an aficionado, but it seems to taste pretty good to me, so I'll just trust what they say. Well, kind of looks like this bus is broken down. And maybe they brought some more in to pick those people up. But anyway, these are the uh, colorful buses you see in this area quite commonly in San Vicente de Chucuri. Let's see if we can have a quick look inside the engine of one of these things here before it closes it up. There we go. Going to El Filon, wherever that is. When you're going on buses in Colombia, they often load it up with all kinds of goods, so they take advantage of uh, the buses wherever they go. Now this is a different, much different vibe from when I was here uh, a year ago for the Feria. And it's Thursday, but it, yeah, it seems a lot more normal and busy. As you see, tons and tons of motorcycles parked here. It's, I think this is the motorcycle capital of Columbia or something, because there's way more motorcycles than usual. these kind of cool old trucks for delivery all over the place as well. The last time I was here during the feria, this was a hub of activity. Lots of horses, a horse uh, riding show and etc etc. You can see some animals over there but uh, holy smoke they just cranked the music up there. That's actually what I was coming across the bridge to look at to see if this place is open for lunch. But the music's so loud, I don't know why I want to go in there now. Let's check it out though, let's see what they have. Buenas, ¿tiene algo? I don't know if you can hear me over the loud music, but there's a whole bunch of empty beer bottles. And I'm one 
one of two people in there. And I guess they're not going to be turning the music down anytime soon, so. Now that is a thick bowl of soup. I think that you're dancing on video. There she goes again. That's why I love Colombia. The main plate just arrived. Now that is a pretty good honking size of meat for, uh, for one of these kinds of restaurants for the price that I presume I'll be paying. We've got some rice, plantain, yucca, and a little salad. I guess that beats the purple stuff. So we have this goat that just came in the restaurant and they fed the goat. That's all cool. Now we got one of the waitresses having a beer. And we got more people now. Gracias. Hasta luego. Mucho gusto. Chao. I could have been recording the whole time is in the restaurant. There were some really funny things that happened. Um, so this is the river in case you're ever in San Vicente. By chance you want to come here, that's the restaurant over there. The river down here. Um, at one point, I, she obviously, the one in red, Mona, she obviously knew the uh, free, I think all the people that were in there. So it was uh, a lot of sarcasm going on, but uh, so at one point I saw her go up to one of the guys that was sitting at one of the tables with a serviette and she kind of cleans off his face for him. And so then I saw her coming towards me with a, a serviette, so I, I put up my face like this and I said, and she did the same thing for me, patted my face down, so that was kind of funny, and she gave me a fist pump. And I saw some butt slapping from the guys and the girls, actually. <laughs> so it was, it was pretty funny watching. It was very entertaining watching uh, people that know each other and just fooling around having a fun day. So that's uh, Restaurante Mona. I'm trying to figure out where all these buses are going to because I'm looking on the map and uh, I don't see any real towns that are very close. But if I have a chance, if I'm staying here long enough, I want to go uh, check out another town that's nearby here. Let's continue on, though. And in case you didn't know, San Vicente is very famous for a cacao. So look who I just ran into. My chance is my guide from last year, Jose. He just happened to be driving by and he saw me, so we're discussing a uh, Otro locación para mañana para visitar para mí. Entonces, bueno, <laughs> habla más tarde. Pues. Gracias. Kind of funny, uh, you, you know three people in town and you just happen to run into one of them like that. I could have swore he told me there is some secret location that was similar to Cueva de los Aviones, but. He says he doesn't know what I'm talking about, but the guy from the, the house where I'm staying, he, he says there is a, a secret location. So, we're gonna have to figure this one out. Just going for a wander out in the countryside for a little more peace and quiet. Kind of a, a nice little stream. If it wasn't for all the uh, garbage. It could be an option for a photo that's nearby the, the town. Another nice little mural. 
So I'm just kind of heading downwards, not knowing what is downwards, so we'll see you together. Tiny little homes though. Basically I'm just, uh, as I mentioned, uh, heading downwards because it looks like there's some uh, a neighborhood down here. So I thought, thought that it might be interesting to check it out. But you can see how lush and green it is around here. That's one thing I really like. Come here, come here, come here. Venga. Come here. Okay. No love. No love for that puppy then. Yeah, it just looks like an ordinary neighborhood. We have a fairly new looking church though. Some kind of a little amphitheater, I guess we'll call it. Seats. I think that I'm coming to a, a little river down here. I'm kind of hoping to come to a nice scenic little park area or something. Well, this looks pretty uh, new. Nice little multi sports plex thing, outdoor as usual. I've told you before that they have these little outdoor uh, <clears throat> workout stations and it looks like these are probably I'm, I don't know I'm guessing here but it looks like they're literally just taking the uh, plastic off them they look pretty uh, brand new so that's a cool idea and this three-dimensional art depicts what's inside the cacao Interesting. What do we have down here? I've come across some kind of a little peaceful rest area or something like that. Uh, what does that say there? You, uh, says, don't put garbage. Place to rest. Obviously this river is kind of dried up. A little pond. Fishies in. Oh yeah, there's fish in there. Guess that's all there is to it. Just a reminder, love, uh, gratitude, patience, tolerance, etc, etc. Respect, justice. All the things we're lacking in this world right now. But it's a nice little green space. What's interesting that you might not note unless you're down here is they have nice even sidewalks which you don't see very often so they're obviously pouring some money into this little area down here. I finally found a friendly little puppy. Are you a chihuahua? Are you a chihuahua? I'll give the camera a kiss. here now. Hola. Hola. <laughs> ¿Es tu perro? Ah, bueno. ¿Cómo se llama de el perrito? Coco. Coco? Ah, bueno. <laughs> Hasta luego. That was Coco. Buenas. ¿Qué tipo de jugo tiene? Naranja. Naranja es natural. Es con azúcar o sin azúcar. Gracias. Con azúcar, pero muy poquita. ¿no? Ok. ¿Y cuánto es? ¿Cuánto es? A mí me necesitaba más, pues este. Se daba dos por favor. Bueno, por Si no, que está con vaso pequeño, no tan grande. Bueno. The gathering of the birds. As long as they feed them, they'll stay there. I'm waiting for somebody to scare them so they all take off all of a sudden. <laughs> like that. Kind of. I don't know if you can see 
how many birds are in this tree right now, but there's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> I knew the kids couldn't wait too long before they scared them all off. <laughs> Anyhow, we're getting towards last light. I'll just show you around the uh, Parque Principal, which is kind of unique here because uh, most Parque Principales don't have a a whole bunch of different levels like this one does. Birds are everywhere. Anyway, it's uh, all decorated for Christmas. And I'll uh, try to get some shots of the Christmas lights. This tree here looks really cool at night with all the hanging lights. I don't know exactly what this is for, but it's got a lot of bird shit on it, so I wouldn't be sitting there. As I said, lots of steps, lots of levels, which I've never seen. That's the uh, main cathedral that's nicely lit up with the afternoon light. Got a giant avocado here, aside from cacao. San Vicente is quite famous for aguacate. Because people starting up their barbecues, got some juice and empanadas, the usual good stuff. And this is a, a very lively little town. If you uh, saw the video I made of Zapatoka, it was uh, really, really quiet there. But this town is quite different. It's bustling. You can see all these motorcycles all lined up here. I don't know why there's so many lined up, but uh, you see a zillion motorbikes in this town here. You know, just head down this way, I guess. Kind of a lower level. But yeah, it's a very bustling little town. Seems to have quite a mix between uh, a lot of young people and uh, older people, which is a good sign because that means the uh, older people are living to be old ages. And it's a noisy little town too, actually. <laughs> I hear music coming from all over the place. Surrounded by mountains. It's quite nice. Not the most beautiful little town, quite frankly, but uh, it's not bad. Okay, so I want uh, you to just be able to hear what that guy was doing. He's going, Eddie, 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 or whatever it was. This guy basically hangs around this area here and anytime somebody wants to back out he backs them out safely and then he gets uh, a bit of change for for doing so which is good I, I really appreciate people that uh, actually do something for the money they want instead of just sticking their hand out and doing nothing it's good you see that a lot in Colombia by the way they're just starting to turn on the lights here in the park. Let's do a little wander around the park. I'll show you some of the vendors. I, mean, I like the light that's going on right now. It's not quite dark out yet, but they've got the lights on, so it's a nice combination. That person sells coffee and tea. and tea with a very unique hat. I like that hat. I like that hat. Your good old fried stuff empanadas. Let's wander over this way here. Sweets, gooses. Oh, 
Hola. Calla, mira. People hanging out, waiting for the lights to go on. Bring on the lights. Bring on the lights. We have a fancy cacao shop over here on this side. So it's a little expensive. And there we go. Finally, wait around for a little while for that. All right, let's do our little Christmas tour in, uh, I think it's December 9th today. And it's, uh, was about 28 degrees out today, but quite humid. So it's a more uncomfortable heat than it is in San Hill. Bouncy trampoline there for the kids. This is my favorite part here. Hanging lights in the tree. A little bit of light in the trees here. I'm surprised they don't have lights on the uh, cathedral, but. Oblias. Seeing that purdy. I think it's really nice. It's one of my favorite things about uh, Colombia, how they decorate all the Plaza Principales. Really nice. little section here is one of my favorite uh, Christmas decorations that I've seen in uh, Plaza Principal. So that's uh, the gist of it there. You got a few uh, entryways that are lit up, but uh, hopefully that'll give you a nice idea what the beautiful Christmas lights look like in uh, San Vicente de Chucuri. And then on over the side, we just have your normal everyday stores grocery liquor store again a zillion zillion bikes and people work long hours sometimes here what they're here looking at he says a little bit of a Christmas lights down the corner here We've got a casino I guess that's about it. Well, now, as the caballeros, I think that's going to wrap things up for this video. As you can hear the church bell chiming in the background there. Uh, thanks for watching. And remember, there's no you in Columbia. So hopefully, you can visit the field for Columbia someday. Until next time, cross tackle.